Hi guys, I welcome us to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we will be learning how to prepare a financial statement from FS lines using SOMIX function in Microsoft Excel. All right. Okay, uh, this is my structure of how my financial statement is gonna look like. That is the statement of financial position and the income statements, the amount I reported in dollars for the year ended at 1st March, 2018. All right, so this is my already made trial balance for XYZ Limited. So I have all my account number, my account name, the debit transactions, credit balances, and the net balance of the debit and credit. So it's just simply the column C minus column D. Then I have my FS line. So this FS line is represent how the uh, financial statement will, be, will look like in your final output, okay? So when I mean your final output, I mean in these sections for all those that categorize on the assets. So these are their financial statement lines. So this is what we've used to map our trial balance, okay? So you can see that all what you have on the financial statement, they are all represented here in each account balance. For example, this is a 13th month salary is on that personal expenses. We have uh, investment securities, corporate bonds, okay? Then we have uh, dividend income, other revenue, then uh, domestic expenses, other personal expenses. So we've already mapped our trial balance to reflect whatever it is on the FS or on the financial statement that we're going to prepare. So in this form, we'll be using the SOMIX Excel function to populate our financial statements. First, we start with the income statement. We start with the income statement, which is, uh, so I'll come under cash and cash equivalent. I'll say equal to sum ifs. Okay. So the sum range, the sum range we'll be picking from will be the balance column. Sum range comma, then FS line. So I'll sum in the balance column if, select FS line is contained here. So I said sum the FS line column, that's the balance column, if the FS line contains cash and cash equivalent. So I'll close my brackets, press enter key. So I have my total amount for all of the accounts in the trial balance mapped under cash and cash equivalent. So I can drag same to populate for others. So I already have my total asset summed up, which is equal to sum of the entire figures. Then I can also do the same for liabilities equals to sum ifs, okay, the balance column, comma, and if the FS line, comma, select, contains this FS line caption, press the enter key. So it sums up all the balances that form under current income tax liabilities. So I can drag same for other liabilities. All right, so with this, you see that we've gotten our total assets with $201 million, then our liabilities are about $9 million. So we're gonna sum up or bring up figures for our equity section on the financial statement. So equal to sum if the balance column comma, if the FS line caption selected, comma, contains share capital, close my bracket, press the enter key. So this is my total share capital. So I can drag down to populate for others. All right. So you can see that our share premium is also uh, brought up, our uh, retained earnings, then our other reserves. So total equity is about 192 million. Then our total liabilities plus equity is 201 million, which equates our total access. So this is just my check. To be sure that total assets is equal to total liabilities plus total equities. So this is what I've done, total assets minus total liabilities plus equities. All right, so the zero means that my uh, segment of financial position is mathematically accurate and is balanced, okay? 
they will come to the income statement. So we'll do the same thing equals to sum ifs. So I come to my trial balance, select the balance column, comma, if the FS line, comma, contains income and discount income, interest and discount income. All right, so I can check for my interest expense, drag down. Okay, so we have our net interest income. So I can do the same for my trading income equals to sum if the balance column contains in the FS caption has this close my bracket. So I have for this, so there's a trading net trading loss. So I can just drag down for all this. Okay, so you can do the same thing here. You can as well drag down. Okay, so I'll delete this and I will delete this. So we have our income as uh, tax expense of about 19,000 and our profit for the year to be $766,000. Okay, so we've successfully populated our financial statement straight up from the trial balance. So the key thing to note here is that you need to map every account balance to the FS line. All right. Okay. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, please click on the subscribe button and share your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.